गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज द सिक्स लेक्चर ऑफ द फर्स्ट यूनिट ऑफ वाटर रिसोर्स इंजीनियरिंग डेवलपमेंट ऑफ इरिगेशन इन इंडिया ओके नाउ फर्स्ट वील सी द हिस्ट्री ऑफ डेवलपमेंट ऑफ इरीगेशन इन इंडिया नाउ इरीगेशन इन इंडिया कैन बी ट्रेस्ड फार एज फार एज बैक टू इंडस वैली सिविलाइजेशन now we have studied about indus valley civilization in the beginning of uh, this uh, uh, module or in the beginning of this unit in the first lecture now uh, after that there are uh, many developments in the field of irrigation in india in the second century bc that is before christ indian scholar panini he mentions tapping several rivers for irrigation the mentioned rivers are sindhu suvastu and so on uh, so the idea of tapping several rivers for the purpose of irrigation of the field existed as far as the 2nd century bc uh, now the next most uh, important milestone in the field of irrigation uh, was in the medieval period the most widespread irrigation system in india was undertaken in india in the medieval period by the sultanat rulers and the british raj by 1940 they had built significant number of canals and irrigation system in uttar pradesh bihar punjab assam and orissa now this is uh, uh, this uh, irrigation pro progress was made up till 1947 now after 1947 we'll see what has happened now uh, among the asian countries india has the largest arable land that means it has the largest land which is available for agriculture that means out of the total land available in india almost 40% land is utilized for agriculture only usa has more arable land in a monsoon climate and an agrarian economy which is india irrigation plays a very important role in the production process either directly or indirectly now during the last 50 years the gross irrigated area of india has increased more than three folds from 22% to 76% now uh, it means uh, uh, 50 years back just 22% of the total agricultural fields came under irrigation and the remaining 78% uh, agriculture field uh, relied upon uh, the monsoon rain but today almost 76% of the agricultural fields rely on artificial irrigation and just the remaining 24% rely on monsoon uh, now due to this uh, in the last 5 decades uh the gross irrigated area has increased from 5 million hectares to 35 million hectares 50 years back it was 5 million hectares and today it is 35 million hectares now uh, why did this happen uh it is because ground water irrigation in india was developed during the period of green revolution and it has contributed much in increase the gross irrigated area of india okay so the development that we have seen in uh, the irrigation part of agriculture it is totally due to green revolution you can study about green revolution online or in the books okay so this is a short information about development of irrigation in india Uh, it is not a technical part it is just a management and a general social part uh, in the next lecture uh, we will see the introduction to hydrology thank you